there and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Angie and I'm a chemist who loves makeup. And I like to research the ingredients in cosmetics and report back my findings to you. And today, we are going to be talking about the new Tom Ford skincare line, which is called Research. So it has two products, a moisturizer and a serum, and the prices of these products are $350 and $450. So I was really curious about what was in this magical, magical cream and serum myself, and I wanted to share the ingredients with you guys, and so we can kind of see why this product is so expensive, and if it's actually worth the money. So if that sounds interesting to you, just keep on witching. So let's talk about the key ingredients that they have in this line. Both of these products, they have white porcelain cacao, like cocoa, pure caffeine, and I'm probably gonna butcher this, Kyokuro? It's a type of green tea, and it's supposed to be packed with amino acids. So let's see if there's any research to back up the benefits of these. So first, looking into the white porcelain cacao, a lot of the sources I find were talking about cocoa butter, not necessarily the extract that's in here. But I did find one article which a company that makes this ingredient did a trial with their product and it is basically the cacao extract dissolved into glycerin. And they had a very small study, it was a group of 20 with ages 36 to 41, so I do give them that benefit that they actually got people who may benefit from this, not people that have like 20 year old skin. And they applied it twice daily to people's crow's feet for 28 days. And then they used a source of measurement called Primo's Face Shifting Rapid In Vivo, that means living, measurement of skin. And this is basically a 3D way to measure skin. And there was a smoothing effect shown in 95% of the subjects. And then they did a study where they put the cream containing this ingredient on one side of the face and then a placebo on the other side of the face. So in this case, the placebo would just not have this cacao extract but be the same in every other sense. So this showed that the number of micro furrows was reduced by 8% as opposed to the other side of the skin. So one question I had was, were the 20 original people moisturizing regularly to begin with? Because I imagine if they were, you may see less of an effect than somebody who was not using moisturizer regularly. And in the second study, did they randomize which side of the face they put the placebo cream on? Because if you put something on the left side of your face in the US, that's the side that is facing the driver's side window, and you're gonna get a lot more sun damage to the left side of the face, that could possibly affect the benefit of this product. So this is one of those things that needs more research to back up these kind of claims. So the next is caffeine, which is an antioxidant, so theoretically it'll help prevent wrinkles, but it probably won't do a lot in terms of taking them away. And a lot of the benefits seem to have to do with your under eyes. So from what I've seen, dermatologists say that caffeine in your skincare is beneficial because it helps with blood flow and is anti-inflammatory. So you can see the benefits of it if there is sufficient amounts in your skincare, such as helping dark under eyes, decreasing redness and puffiness. But at the same time, these benefits are short-lived. So the moment that you stop using caffeine, these benefits are gonna go away. So that means that you would have to continuously purchase this in order to get these benefits. It's not really repairing anything. And when I looked up the specific green tea as benefits, I couldn't really find anything specific, but green tea is an antioxidant and it will help with the redness factor. And a lot of the benefits for the green tea seem very similar to the caffeine, which makes a lot of sense since caffeine is in green tea. So these ingredients are present in both products. So the whole line seems to be about awakening your skin. So now let's get into the serum. As for the serum, there are two ingredients that they mentioned specifically on their description, and this is glycolic and lactic acid. You would know these as alpha hydroxy acids or like chemical exfoliants, and a lot of people find these beneficial for the skin. We know what these do to the skin. There are so many high-end products and even drugstore products that contain ingredients that these, that it seems a little bit unnecessary to pay $450. And the Serum Forum also boasts about peptides, which are basically pieces of protein. And these are supposed to stimulate collagen production, but are probably too large to actually penetrate the skin and provide any of this benefit. So there's just not enough evidence to show that these work topically in skincare. 
And other ingredients on the list are butylene glycol, dimethicone, and something that is a film former to help it dry down. So these are all ingredients we've seen before in other products that are less expensive. Now let's move on to the cream. So one thing they talk about is the algae product in this cream. The benefit claims of this are that it's an antioxidant, it's anti-aging, brightening, and smoothing. So that's kind of a lot wrapped up into one. But a lot of the research seems to be in the very early stages for this ingredient. So basically from what I've seen, so components of this can be beneficial. There are theories to how it would be beneficial, but there are not really studies that show how the extract can be beneficial to human skin. A lot of it looks like is that people believe that this is gonna be a promising ingredient in the future. And according to Paula's Choice, which has a lot of information about individual ingredients, that because this is a plant-based extract, it is very sensitive to light and air, so best to avoid it in jar products, and the Tom Ford product happens to be in a jar. So that's not very good to hear either. So the next claim is that there's hyaluronic acid in this formula, as well as a blend of humectants. So, so as we know, many, many products have hyaluronic acid as well as a humectant setter in here. From what I saw quickly, there is butylene glycol and glycerin in this product. And we've talked about these a lot and they're available in a wide variety of products. So for me, this doesn't justify the high price point of this product. And the cream as well also talks about peptides. So other ingredients in this product are dimethicone as well as petrolatum which is also known as Vaseline, which we know is very inexpensive, but beneficial, will create a layer to prevent water loss, as well as hydrogenated vegetable oil. I'm not sure how beneficial hydrogenated vegetable oil is over other oils, but I also know how inexpensive vegetable oil is too. I have some in my cabinet right now. So both the petrolatum and the hydrogenated vegetable oil will help create a layer to prevent water loss. And there are quite a few other ingredients in here that could be beneficial. One of them is called Reversarol, which has antioxidant properties. And maybe ingredients like that are driving up this price. But again, there's not a lot of solid evidence for the ingredients like this in the formula. And you can get something like Reversarol from The Ordinary for a lot cheaper if you're really curious about how that ingredient is gonna help your skin. But this product also contains a spatula, so maybe that's made of gold. Product. So for me, I am not even going to think about spending my money on these products because you can get a lot of these similar ingredients for a lot cheaper. It seems that this is going for a very specific clientele and I'm sure somebody is going to buy this. Of the, But I hope you found it interesting going through the ingredients of these extremely high price point products. And as always, I will link my resources down below. And if you learned something today, don't forget to click the like button as well as the subscribe button so you will never miss a new upload. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye!